Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick beginner's guide on the sewer system. Now what is the sewer system? It's basically a dungeon with several different types of mobs ranging from vindicators to ground, spiders, guardians, things like that. The first mob you're going to see is a level 5 vindicator. Now you might think, level 5? Oh wow! It's easy. I'm just gonna go in with my with whatever comes in my starter kit and go kick it and they're behind. Let's just see how that works out. Terribly sorry about the background noise, that's just my laptop being my laptop. That's it. Never mind. That is not going to. That is not going well. That is not going well. You see, they do all your health in a hit, and some why they do less. I don't know. They sometimes do less damage. I think it's a bug. You can always try both spamming. They get stuck, but they still do all your health. Then again, your kit does come with some steak, so that might be useful. But yeah, good luck fighting them, with iron arm at least. Also this bow is kind of an unfair advantage if, uh, early on because it has elite power 26 which is one of the slightly custom enchants, it's just extra power that only works on elite mobs. And as you see, uh, I'm also not used to dying to these guys. Connection reset. I don't know why it does that. It's just weird. You see, iron arm is not a good choice, and that's one of the reasons why you practically get one shot by these dudes. So you might want to consider better armor. For example, oh wait, no, not that one. This chest has the wait. Those are the bare essentials. Full diamond armor, you can add protection just for extra care. And a diamond sword can help. Let's see how that turns out. You take much less damage, but you can still die, as you can see. Also, I lagged. Oh, 1k ping. That sucks. That also sucks. You can also choose to skip these dudes, which is what you what I would usually recommend, unless you wanna plan, unless you plan on grinding these. So you pretty much take this path, avoid everyone in your way, just like so. You can kill the, this dude; he's pretty easy, especially if he's knocked into water. Then you can try your luck with these dudes. They're pretty easy to kill. As you can see, I'm also dealing bleed damage. That's, that's because I grinded swords. You can see I'm not using my, my shield. And that was a terrible idea. If that doesn't work out, just... Add protection. Why is my connection terrible? 
Alright, I'm back and with slightly better stuff. As you can see, I got Prot 1, Prot 1, Prot 2, and Prot 1 with a sharpness 2 sword. Now that they respawned, you can just do this, take this pathing path if you want to skip them. Don't forget to run just so you can save some armor durability. Now when you die, you don't lose anything, you just lose your levels if you uh, So you don't quite have to worry, even if you, if, you, if you even if your armor has Curse of Vanishing, you don't have to worry. Nothing. You also get something called Elite Coins. You're not actually going to be using many of these early on. Ah, come on. You see, that that protection is making a huge difference. And if we got our first drop, it's not quite worth it though. It's only elite, it's only elite protection too, and it's chain. So you just do this. So you get slightly better stuff. And if you find yourself between several of them, try splitting them. Or splitting them apart. You can see my acrobatics is going up. And that's because your acrobatics go up whenever you your, your acrobatics skill goes up whenever you uh, get shot by an arrow a trident and I don't know why they do that that's just okay um, might as well do this You may know you may get axes. Oh, level 14. I don't quite recommend you use axes just yet because the axes are pretty weak compared to swords, especially with their slower attack speed, especially if they're wooden or gold. Or golden. You might feel compelled to go through the, to the next floor. Wait. Uh, uh, do not go there. This is a sewer system. Well, well this uh, this uh, this has level 50 guardians in it, and as you can see, one of them is a free kill. One of them alone is a free kill. Just make sure he's stuck in a cobweb, and he won't cause any trouble. And try not to sprint as. Uh, Sprinting makes critting impossible, which makes bleeding impossible. You may feel compelled to go to the <clears throat> next floor, which is full of spiders. Sometimes they just bug out, I don't know why they do that, kind of like the lurkers. They drop high level stuff, as you can see. Is this one not gonna bug? This one's also bugged. Oh. I got you the fire tick right there, and as you can see, they do mu they're much harder to kill than others. Alright guys, uh, after getting my netherite set, this is full prop 4, 
unbreaking. You don't need mending and you, do, you don't quite need unbreaking either, but it helps. Now we're gonna talk about bosses. There are two bosses, well, uh, there, yeah, there are two bosses on the skeleton floor. There's a wither skeleton boss and a blaze boss. You do not want to fight either of them without a shield, especially with only netherite. You might think, only netherite? What do you mean? Netherite is strong. Netherite is generally strong, but... In these floors, it's not. Also, I'm lagging today. I don't know why, just... Today's connection seems to be pretty bad. This one's completely unenchanted. If you have uh, a high enough salvaging level, you might be able to salvage them for diamonds instead of the one elite coin you get from these. If you want the diamonds. I have too many diamonds to care about that, but... I guess you could also get scraps out of those. Scraps are just... Scraps are more of an endgame item type of thing. Yay. This is fun. Just gonna equip the shield and head straight towards the blaze. There are two towers, two elevators right there, one upwards and one downwards. Soul sand goes up, magma, magma blocks make it go down, and water. Make sure not to get too close because it also um, it behaves like a normal blaze, except that it doesn't quite fly. And just like you would fight a normal blaze, you you usually take cover whenever it starts uh, going up in flames. But in this case, <clears throat> just shield up, shields up, and you're good to go. That levitation is only annoying. Yay, we killed it, but we did not get any loot. Wait, we did. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Get an elite protect uh, we got an Elite Protection 17 helmet. It's quite an upgrade from the, from the Netherite one. Anything up um, is the Silver Spelunker set. It's practically uh, one of the best sets in the game because each piece has a different effect. The boots give speed 1 permanently. Well, uh, well, not permanently, but when you have it on, you... So it's basically permanent in the sewers because you usually have it on. The, the water breathing won't come useful until you start fighting level 50 piranhas. So it's uh, not gonna quite happen anytime soon, but it's still gonna happen sooner or later. The subtitles do say there's a wither skeleton uh, above us, so it has spawned, it has respawned. Just a quick warning, that thing gives blindness. You have to shi uh, you have to use your shield. So it's pretty much shield, attack once or twice. Make sure to corner it so you can get extra hits. Yeah. When I say shield, I mean shield.
I didn't know. Okay, this is I probably shielded too early. I was one shot from dying. Just gonna finish the job real quick. And if we get better stuff, then that's just nice. But don't forget to bring several shields if you plan on doing several bosses. Most of the early game bosses just use bows or some sort of ranged attack that can be blocked with a shield. And shields only cost 7, if I recall correctly. It's either 7 or 6 wooden planks and one iron ingot, so they're pretty cheap. They're cheap necessity, kind of like water. Um, what is cheap and needed to drink? Also, there's a jockey. For some reason, jockeys exist. Also, jockeys can suffocate. So as I said, you should probably corner it. You don't need to corner it, but it only makes your, job, your life easier. We did not get any jobs from it. Well that sucks. At least we got a sewer spelunker helmet, that's not even as good as my actual gear. But yeah, so you pretty much, uh, when, when, you're, when, you, when you're ready, grind the spider area. It's rather easy, and once you feel ready enough, you should move on to the next area, which is full of Vindicators. Not the level 5 one, the level 20 type. They're located right behind. They're located on the opposite side of the waterfall downwards that we just went through. There are two spider areas, by, by the way. There's this one, and one more. You can also hear an illusioner, he's uh, a nearby boss. Man. We just find that waypoint. I cannot find it. Yeah, I'm dumb. Anyways, you have to be full health for this. And they use axes, just so shields won't be nearly as good. So yeah, you pretty much do this 24/7. I'll get uh, I'll get myself hit by one of them when uh, when there's just one, not two. As you can see, they do quite a bit of damage. And that's with the Elite Part 17 piece. We did get a drop in Elite Part 17 gold piece, but I do not quite recommend using gold pieces, especially with these dudes, because axes make your bleed run out more quickly. So even if you think, even if your gold piece has mending, it's not gonna last. It's barely gonna last. And as you can see, in, in full netherite, those things four shot you.
So that's practically everything you can do with uh, with a vanilla netherite god set. I'll be back with another guide probably tomorrow about slightly more advanced bosses and other things. I'll also explain the adventures, the adventures guild, and what every villager does in the adventures guild. And if you have any other question, or if you need me to teach you anything personally, everything will be in the comments, and my Discord is in the description. Goodbye, everyone. And have a nice day, evening, or whatever time it is in your time zone. Peace.